Another type of comparison is to compare the size of atoms versus ions. So for example, here's a series of oxygen atoms with different charges. All of them obviously have eight protons. The difference is the number of electrons. So we're talking about the 2p orbital is the last orbital being filled in all cases and the number of protons in the nucleus is the same in all cases. So the difference has to be with the amount of shielding. The more electrons you have, the more shielding there those elect that last electron will experience by the other electrons. So oxygen with a negative 2 charge has the most electrons, it has the most shielding, and the most shielding is going to make this the largest in size. So the anions are greater in size than the neutral atoms, and the neutral atoms are greater in size than the cations. So the, in this case, oxygen with a negative 2 charge is the largest, and oxygen with a positive 1 charge will be the smallest. You can also compare on an isoelectronic series. So in this case, they obviously have the same number of electrons. All of these will have 10 electrons. The difference is the number of protons in the nucleus. The oxygen atom has the fewest protons. It has 8, fluorine has 9, neon 10, and sodium 11. So the most positive charges, we have the same number of electrons, so we have basically the same shielding for all of these cases. The difference is going to be the more protons you have for the same amount of shielding, the greater the effective nuclear charge is, and that makes the atoms smaller. So in this case, the smallest is the sodium, and the largest is the oxide.